Hey guys, and welcome back to scenario number three, Voyage of Nietzsche's Indus River Delta, September 325 BC. Nietzsche's waited at Patala, upstream of the Indus River Delta. His instructions from King Alexander were clear. While the king marched the army through the Jedrosian Desert, Nietzsche's was to raise a fleet and sail into the Great Ocean. The two forces would meet at Harmosia, a port city at the mouth of the Persian Gulf, some 1,000 miles away. From there, they would continue on to Babylon. But Alexander had not anticipated the heavy monsoon rains that descended upon Nietzsche's and his men. For months, it rained without stopping, and the local Indian tribes grew restless. Nietzsche's fortified his camp as supplies began to dwindle. As Nietzsche's lost hope, the skies suddenly cleared. Thanking the gods, Nietzsche's and his men set out, confident that the worst of their journey had passed. Unknown to the sailors, the trials and tribulations had only just begun. Objectives. Capture the war chests held by the Sama tribes and the Oritans. Build a fleet of five triremes and bring them to the western edge of the map. Hence, away from Alexander's main army and, his, and its logistical infrastructure, Nietzsche and his men resort to subsistence. He therefore begins in the Bronze Age with no food. No food! There are too few resources on the island. Nietzsche will need to aggressively claim and defend the resources on neighboring lands. Do not be too committed to holding the starting location at Palata. The island is vulnerable to ships and your enemies have an early naval advantage. The Sama occupy the island of the Delta and, like most Indians, are famed archers. The Oritans are horsemen from the more arid west. A strange primitive tribe called the Fish Eaters resides in the west. They would not be challenging to defeat, and their lands hold many secrets, such as rich gold deposits. History Alexander divided his army into thirds for the return to Babylon. The king led the largest group through the Jadrosian Desert, while his general Craterus led another portion of the army through the heart of Persia's eastern satrapies. The remainder of the army was given to Nietzsche's, with instructions to build a fleet and sail into the Indian Ocean. Heavy monsoon rains delayed the start of the journey, and Nietzsche's supplies began to dwindle. Finally, the rain ceased, and Nietzsche's sailed into the open sea and westward, tracing the Persian coast to Harmosia, modern-day Hormuz. The journey took many months, and the fleet suffered lo losses from disease and lack of food and water. According to Greek accounts, Nietzsche and his lieutenants were so disheveled from their harsh journey that, when they landed on the coast, they were not recognized by scouts sent by Alexander to find them. Okay, so war chests and triremes. Hardest difficulty, play. Zoom out again. Okay, so red is Palata. We have a cataphract and some hoplites. Okay, let's. Uh, we don't have. We don't have food. I guess shorefish are the best source of food we have. And we'll start getting some more boats out. Get to turn down my volume before this. There we go. You repaired. Right. Don't kill the food boats. Do not kill the food boats. There's a bowman shooting him too. There he is. Villagers. It's a lot of boats. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna need more, more boats. You're also gonna need wood. Thomas. This guy is blocking all my resources. Oh, the shell is here. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like the boats have kind of stopped. Repair that. Can I push these gazelle towards the TC by using this cataphract? I can. There we go. Okay. That's, uh... That's better than we were in before. Okay. Uh, so I think probably harass... 
This yellow villager. Don't let yellow build up, that'll be a good, good plan. Okay, so they got some towers there. Bring this last gazelle into the town center. Build a house, because why not? Oh, we need houses, and we need more wood for houses. Let's quickly level those houses. Oh, I need 30 wood, it's not 25. Nope, don't, don't take unnecessary damage there. Now I've built a house. It's a bit late on that house. Oh, well, let's see what we can scout over here. Use this cataphract. Hopefully, cataphract can survive for quite a while. Okay, we've definitely gotten the food economy rolling. We need some more wood. Just have to long distance chop some wood. And does this upgrade cost wood? Of course it does. Um, but okay, I think we got a good TC location up here. But, uh. Actually, uh, don't die to the tower, please. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna need more than just. We're not gonna be able to do TC straight away because we're gonna just need storage prints. Okay, just long distance chop ball wood in the world. Oh yes, and we'll even have some more food stuffs up here. Perfect. And we'll scale like a storage pit over here or something. That should help. It's just like a little outcropping jut thing of shallows. Cool. Uh, oh, we can build that kind of on the hill. Alright, so we've kind of stopped being attacked for now. It looks like we not that boat do any anything. Okay. Um, okay, nice. So we have a storage pit there. We'll get some wood coming in. Going to need some more houses and up. Oh, again, we've forgotten we do not have auto queue. Get the villages going. Oh, can we kill the boat with the uh, horse guy? Oh, I think we can. That'll be. Uh, oh, yeah, cataphract beats scout ship quite easily. There we go. Nice. One less boat to worry about. Okay, I think it's now government center and then town center time. And we'll do the boat upgrade. Ooh, there's some berries. And some more elephants. This would be a nice spot to take over. Don't take more damage before being upgraded, please. What's attacking me up here? I don't know. Alright, we'll do some harassment there. What's the objective again? The war chests and five tri-rooms. We also have to figure out what our population limit is. Oh, there's a war chest, yes. Okay. We don't need to hold on to it, just like send it up there. Okay, maybe we can just like get another sneaky war chest like that. That would be nice. Let's get up uh, town center then, right there. Do a little 3TC boom action. Oh, well, I guess that also depends on the population. If it's 50, that's not going to be worthwhile. Hey, don't, don't die to the towers, no. Uh, dock here would be nice if we could take that stuff. Oh, we have some ruins. Did we lose that? Oh, don't, we didn't. I'll need to bring five tri rooms to the marked area. Um, I don't see a marked area, but that's it's okay. Great, the fishing ship. We gotta dock up here. Boom, those fish. Oh, 56. That is a number greater than 50. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Start needing more food. Oh, 
Chase into their towers, what do you do? There's an elephant there, some more farms here. Hopefully that war chest is nearby like the other one was. Looks like it probably isn't though. Oh, look at oh, so many towers. Down there. Looks like I'll need a few more boats. I probably want a market too. Yep. And the government center, I don't have any upgrades. Maybe writing would be worthwhile. Probably not. I think I'll probably need some farms. Lose the fish, don't lose the fish, please. Just gonna total zoom. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Too many things going on at once. I thought that I got composite bowmen there. Oh, here's the war chest just. Can we get it? No. <laughs> oh, we were close though. Let's see, can we just like, attack that villager? Okay, so there, there's the war chest. We know what we gotta do to get it now. It's actually pretty close. Let's just keep our boom going. Let's see if we can just get up another TC over there. That's a little wheel. Wheel, I think, is pretty important. It looks like maybe 75 is the top limit. See if we get any weird farming bugs like we did in that last one. Second, you guys on to gold so we can get it to the next stage. Kill that elephant. Nice. Alright, so many boats. I'm really not good at this queuing villager thing anymore after all the AOM. Oh. Okay, so there's the next war chest. Five triremes will probably be fairly straightforward. I guess they're making mostly composite bowmen, we'll just need a bit of siege. Just transport ship a few. Siege engines over there. Okay, we got the gold we need. Get some more farms going. Let's get up a dock. Yep. Some fishing ships there. Some fishing ships over here. And some fishing ships over here. And I guess maybe even some fishing ships over there. Yeah, it looks like 75 is going to be this pop limit of ours. And I've completely forgot I had built a 4th GC and I don't even carry kills from 3. Rip. Here. That would be a good dock spot. And I should have a government center. Yeah, I don't think I have a second. Let's do a siege workshop. 
coming. I didn't stop. Oh, I didn't do wheel. Yeah, I need that second building. Get that up faster. Okay, so we'll do a uh, quick insertion to get that. One war chest. What do I have? I don't have any upgrades for that. The one I need to do though is at the market. Once Will's done, we need to do the range upgrade. And I need more villagers on wood. I have four idols that need to go on wood. All that need to go on wood. Oh, that's a lot of boats. Uh, we need to tower the coast there. Use the catapult as part of the fight. Oh, nice. That does a lot of damage. There we go. Perfect. Let's actually take out that tower. And they got extra range on the boots. On our Brown's attack. So I think we already want the up this stone there upgrade. As soon as we get up, we're uh, like going to that. A try ring right away. Go to the market if you already just said, Oh, boats. Come down, got those boats there. And catapult. Built more of them. It's a lot of boats. And do I have alchemy? And ballistics will be the ones I do. Get that tower out of the way, since it's proving to be quite a nuisance up against some other boats. There we go. I think Trireme's will be some rather short work of uh, scout ships. Yeah, it's almost done. Oh, I don't get the one up there. Oh. there I don't get stone upgrade either. Well, alright, so you guys just send those guys along with the, uh, oh, you the seed ships to find some, like, the plane. Uh, this, uh, this armor for the infantry. Let's fight against the bowmen. Got the stocks. And I guess we probably have a few too many villages at this point. So we'll place them in boats. Just ruthlessly delete our men. And let's just uh, make a transport for this operation. Let's make sure the car is running out. There you go. Get you guys all onto the transport. We can actually quite upgrade them a bit more. I need gold for that. I don't have any gold. Alright. gold right there. So I hope this works. I'm just gonna go straight for the war chest. Oh, did you guys not actually get on the transport? What? Man. Alright, I think we can do this. I have faith. I have faith that- oh they mined all the gold. I don't have faith in is the transport ship's ability to path over there without sinking. And 
There we go. Okay, watch us. There we go. Perfect. Back. Okay, that's the path. And there we go. Now we just gotta bring these triremes. Oh, we're just somewhere. We got a good number up here. We'll just make like another couple of rounds from our docks or something. And then we'll just send like all of them. All of them over to the left side of the map and hopefully we find the spot we need to go. Anything else at the market? No, but yeah. Uh, okay. 50 gold for ballistics. And all of you down here. You can just debate from the little force. Bring you away from the coast and away from red. Aw, oh, that, that priest is standing there ready to steal my relic, or my artifact, or my, my war chest. So, at this point, yeah. hopefully it's safe just to head straight to the, the left side of the map and end up at the place we gotta end up. Because, I mean, uh, what? I don't know what you're doing there, but once we get... Oh, you died. <laughs> I was gonna have you go down, sorry. But... Oh, well. Okay, let's just head straight to the left side of the map and see if we can find a spot to, uh, to win. This looks like a big area of open water. Okay, let's, I guess, let's send a few of you down here to scout. Oh, what is... Fish eaters? Don't attack me. Okay, so there's the fish eaters. I wonder if there's gonna be like some inland place I need to fight to or not. So get for attacking feet, little fish eaters. Oh, I, I guess we hit the marked area, either here or down here. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Cool. That one would have been nice to know where I had to sail the ships, but other than that, it was a quick steal the war chests and get out type of mission. Now let's read the ending. So, After ten years, Alexander allowed his men to rest. Thousands had died in the conquest of Persia, but it was the final years of Alexander's campaign that proved the costliest. On the Hadapses, the Indus, and in the Gedrosian Desert, Alexander left behind thousands more of his men. So, too, did Alexander leave his final dreams of world conquest. The young king would die in Babylon, and his dreams of returning to India would die with him. Alexander had not conquered India. India had conquered Alexander. Okay, let's take one more quick look at that map. Because I think I might have missed some stuff. It was uh, Alexander in India. Voyage. Good, uh... Ooh, okay, nice little cliff maze. That's interesting. <laughs> I still don't know where the marked area was. I'm guessing it was over here. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice little... Felt very Age of Empires 1 styled. Which I guess makes sense, because it's Age of Empires 1. Oh, dang it. They animate this water, but they don't animate this water. I'm gonna zoom out so I don't notice that anymore. Anyway, I think that means I'm now caught up on the scenarios I wanted to play. So we'll see if... Uh, any more come out soon. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you later.